Hey guys, what's going on? I'm out here in the shop doing some work today, getting ready for our trip to the Hatfield McCoy Trails, and I'm doing some work to the trailer. I ordered a new trailer, but uh, it's not in yet, so I'm getting ready to do something with this trailer. Uh, this trailer right here. If you've seen some of our stuff before, you know about this trailer. It's an all aluminum trailer, and it's got super small tires on it. Uh, right there, they're only like 10 inch wheels, 20.5 by 8 by 10, so they're not very big at all. So the problem with these tires is they're too small to balance. So when I'm going down a road about every three seconds, we get a nice vibration out of this trailer. So what we're doing is we're putting some tire beads in here to try and fix it. So when we go to Hatfield McCoy, we aren't vibrating the whole way. So let me show you what I got here. So we got some easy tire beads. We got the valve gut remover. Here's your tire beads. You put one in each tire. So you gotta know how big your tire is and how many ounces of bead you need uh, to balance it out. Too many beads isn't good, not enough is not good either. So you wanna have the right amount of beads for your tire. So you put the beads in this bottle and then you put this tube on there, kind of like tire sealant when you fill up your tire and you squeeze the bottle and the beads go in your tire. So let's see how this works. So this is how things usually work for us. It's about uh, three days before we're getting ready to leave for Hatfield McCoy and trying to get everything done. It's raining right now. It's getting late here in the evening. Uh, so we're just trying to get this done. So we're gonna remove the gut. As you can see, our instructions are getting wet, but uh, we're going to put the beads in the bottle and we're going to dump them in the tire. So let's start with this one. Cut the corner off so we can just pour the beads right in there. You gotta make sure you have your wheel, your valve stem down low so gravity just puts the beads right in there. That's what we're after. So here's the secret. You just gotta treat it kind of like a salt shaker. Just a little bit at a time. Because once you get too much in there, it clogs it up. hear them in there moving around. I'm just going to go ahead and put the, the valve gut back in before I forget. Get done trying to put air in it. It's not going to hold air. I'm really hoping that this works because this trailer rides like crap without these tires being balanced. But uh, they're too small to balance. So this is our next option. Well, there we go. We got the tire beads in. 
Had I known it was going to be that much of a pain in the ass, I would have popped the tires off and put the beads in and put the tires back on the wheel. So, uh, I don't know. You can do it either way, use the bottle, but I would highly recommend popping the bead on the tire and putting it in that way. But we'll see what happens. All right, guys, here we go. Let me just clue you in on the balancing beads. They worked. I cannot believe how well they worked. I've had this trailer for years, and I've hated this thing because when I hauled it empty, it would bounce, it would vibrate, and then when I hauled it with a side-by-side -side on it, about every three seconds, I'd get a vibration up through the cab of the truck. Couldn't stand it. Uh, tire places said they couldn't balance the tires because they were too small. Two ounces of balancing beads per tire did the trick. So if you guys are interested in balancing beads, I am going to have a link down below here to go to Amazon to get them. And we're also going to sell them in our Fisher's Off-Road Pro Shop now since I know that they work. I'll see you guys. Take care. Have a good one.